now that we have our project set up, we can go ahead and start working with our site layout. If you're currently in the drawing like I am now that has all of the objects in your site layout present in the drawing, not as an XREF, not as a block, but as an accessible entity individually in the drawing, then you're ready to create base map control. And that's a big part of any success that you have later on down the line. Base map control will eliminate the need for offset alignments and allows you to do your design and completion using only center line alignments. So here's how it works. Once you've got your project data folder created, you'll go to your management tab and then down to select under the project panel, select and bring up uh, the ASC data path manager and browse to the location where your project data folder is. So I'll go ahead and browse to it. Data. Actually, I think I created a subfolder, yeah, PA1213. So it shows up there and click OK. And you get a verification alert from ASC. Now that's your current data path for this drawing only need to do it one time. So um, after that, I'll go ahead and save this drawing. I'm going to make this my control drawing for base map control creation. And if we have to redefine it, I'll use the same drawing or copy of it. It's fine as well. So step one is to go to base map control panel here in the management tab and uh, you could configure it if you want, but it's not usually necessary. The default settings are just fine. So I'll just go to the define button here. After ASC initializes, it reads the layers in the drawing and tries to interpret on its own what should be used as a base map control layer. So it didn't find anything on the boundary layer, but I'm pretty sure we have something here. We'll use that. Lot line, C prop lot, so it looks right. That looks right. Sidewalk, I believe. Attached and detached. Okay, well, it looks like we can't use both, so we're going to have to pick one of the two. So I'll just use the attached sidewalks. C curb back for curb control. Edge of pavement. Looks good. Center line. I think it missed the center line there. C center road is what it should have used. Now I don't think we have any crown lines because we don't have the typical types of cul-de-sac. So we'll leave that at zero. And <clears throat> once you've checked each one of the uh, control layers, go ahead and click OK. This dialog just states that if any of those items were on um, or a polyline that it was exploded. So just informing you of that. You could always undo this action to restore those polylines if you wanted to. And um, the data will still be present in the folder, so it wouldn't really matter. If we browse back to that uh, that folder, now we've got this file. So base map control is now defined and you can go into the alignment definition phase.